want to talk to you a little bit more about shapes. You can see here that I've added another text box and I've given it a gradient background, which is one of the options that you can do by choosing the paint bucket and instead of solid, choose gradient. Now I want to add little arrows that go through here. So I'll choose shapes, arrows, and a, an arrow, and I'll just draw it in. Now that I have it drawn, let's zoom in a little bit. I want to rotate it so it's pointing down. I'm going to grab this little circle here. My cursor changes to a plus, and it allows me to rotate. I can then shrink it by using the grabber bars on either side. And as you notice, as I move it back and forth, a red line will appear. And this tells me I have the center of the text box selected. Now I will choose the color for it. I'm going to go with my same blue. But I can make it a gradient as well. And then copy it and paste it. And just like before, when I move it around, I can have this snap line. Earlier, I made this breakout template that I'm going to use, but now it's too close to my text box. So what I want to do is show you how you can group these, because right now they're all individual pieces. So what I'm going to do is using my mouse, I'm going to click into the white area, click, hold, and drag, and select all of this. Now, before I do this, I want to make sure that my cursor is over one of the lines, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to choose Group. What Group does is it makes them all one shape. So now when I grab up here, I'm moving all of it instead of just that one line, and I can slide it over here. If I need to make a change to just an individual piece of this, I can do the exact same thing and ungroup them. So I'll select it, right-click, and choose Ungroup, and it'll make them all individuals again.